spreading to failure can make you more type 1 fiber dominant? Now, wait, 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 let me explain. See, we have different muscle fiber types arranged on a spectrum from slower to faster twitch. Type 1 muscle fibers are the slowest and most oxidative. Type 2A muscle fibers are faster and more glycolytic. And type 2X muscle fibers are the fastest and the most glycolytic. In between those, we have hybrids. So we have type 1, type 2A hybrids, and type 2A, type 2X hybrids. According to the size principle of striated muscle, the more slow twitch and oxidative a muscle fiber is, the smaller it will be. So if somebody has more slower twitch fibers, that means that they're gonna have more of those smaller muscle fibers and thus are going to grow less. Back to what I was saying about training to failure. See, we can actually have muscle fiber type shifts after training. And this is because calcium ion accumulation inside of muscle fibers can cause muscle fibers to become more oxidative and thus smaller. And it's really those last one to two reps in a set to failure that come with the most calcium ion accumulation. So technically, by training to failure, we will have more muscle fiber type shifts to more oxidative, smaller muscle fibers. As you can see, after training, we see fiber type shifts of our fastest twitch muscle fibers to become more oxidative. Now, it probably won't make a crazy impact in terms of the growth of the entire muscle, but what it will make a big impact for is for athletes. Because when we're doing really fast movements, the only muscle fibers that contribute are those fastest twitch muscle fibers. So if we're losing those type 2x muscle fibers that have a maximum shortening velocity of about 5 to 6 fiber lengths per second and going down to type 2a that have a maximum shortening velocity of 3 to 4 fiber lengths per second, that can make a huge difference in terms of speed. So while it's definitely less important for hypertrophy, I would definitely recommend for athletes to leave, you know, 2RIR so that you minimize fiber type shifting as much as possible.